Dr. Adrian Rain, a Penn Integrates Knowledge professor, explores why people commit violent crimes. He uses an interdisciplinary scientific approach and modern brain scanning technology to look for clues. Dr. Rain, can you really tell if someone will be a violent criminal just by looking at their brain scans? It's not perfect prediction by any means, but yet we're getting some information, added value over social and behavioral predictors about who's going to become a violent offender. Whether it's poor functioning in the frontal region of the brain or a low resting heart rate, or the fact that they had birth complications early in life, which damaged the brain or the mother smoked or drank during pregnancy. These are all factors, biological factors, that are combining with social factors to give us a better understanding of the causes of crime. And once we can understand the early factors that go to shape violence and crime, we are going to be in a much better position to be able to predict it in the future. And brain imaging research is right now giving us information, again, over and above the usual predictors of which individuals are going to commit a violent offense in the next three to four years. So you could look at a number of statistics about an individual and say, well, they are more likely to commit crime than someone else. What does that mean? What should we do with that information then? Well, it's never going to be perfect prediction, but nevertheless, today, every day, we make decisions on which prisons to let out of prison. Or an offender, do we put them into prison or do we give them community service? We need to assess their dangerousness levels. And right now we do it on the basis of just demographic and social factors, like are they male? How old are they? What's their employment record like? But now we're finding that individuals with a reduced volume of the amygdala, the emotion region of the brain, those individuals are going to be four times more likely to commit a violent act in the next three years. And that's taking into account their prior behavior and their demographic information. So we're getting added value in terms of prediction. And given we have to make the judgments every day, why not add in extra information if our decision making is going to be better? That's what I try and argue for in the anatomy of violence, a better understanding of the causes of, the, of crime better prediction, and ultimately new intervention and prevention programs.